Call of Duty Zombies has for a long time been the only reason I'm invested in the series. It's why World at War and the Black Ops series are my favourite Call of Duty games of all time. With Black Ops 4's release just around the corner, I have now found myself more excited for Blackout mode than anything else. Even perhaps the zombies. One of the greatest additions in Blackout mode is the use of previous Black Ops locations to build the world. Many of these are from the multiplayer maps, but far more interesting are the locations taken straight from Zombies maps. That's why today I'm going to show you 6 Zombies locations in Call of Duty Black Ops 4's Blackout mode. Perhaps my all-time favourite Zombies map comes to Blackout in the form of Asylum. Asylum is the new name for The Rooked, which originally appeared in World at War. I believe it was the first DLC pack, but I might be wrong about that. The great thing about this area is that it completely opens up all of the doors in The Rooked that used to be closed, so you can actually kind of get more of a feel of the entire Asylum. And while this is a really cool feature, the areas that are taken directly from the map look spot on and perhaps even better was an easter egg that we covered a couple of weeks ago in which the musical easter egg from this map still remains upstairs in the bathroom and if you want to go and watch that take a look at the other video what may look like a generic lighthouse is actually the defrosted sister of another iconic zombies location call of the dead is one of the most unique zombies maps as it took you away from the main characters and put you in the shoes of a brand new cast who were tasked with helping out the original survivors who were trapped behind a locked door the original call of the dead map was completely based in the arctic i believe so there was snow and ice everywhere which is why i'm saying this is the defrosted version of the same lighthouse now the lighthouse in the zombies map did actually have a few more locations and was actually a little bit different but from the outside this does look pretty spot on even though there have been quite a few changes made. A brilliant twist on the zombies series came from the map Transit in which you'd be able to ride a bus around different locations on the map. This was actually a really fun map and probably one of my all time favourites and one of those locations being the diner appears in Blackout. Now the diner is pretty much taken exactly from the zombies map, it even has the two other buildings which are the auto mechanic and also just some weird shed where I believe the mystery box used to spawn. Finding this on the map almost made me think that this was maybe a link to the original transit and that if I did follow the road I'd find the other locations, but there was no luck there. That would have been bloody cool though. This one's a little bit different and in fact I'm going to group two of them together here. The first of which is Nuketown. Now Nuketown is a little bit different to some of the other places on this list as there aren't actually any zombies that spawn here during a blackout game. Now this is likely because the Nuketown zombies map was only a bonus in Black Ops 3 I believe so it wasn't one of the main maps. So while it's technically a zombies map in blackout mode it's not really counted as one. Now on the other hand is the graveyard where many zombies can actually spawn along with the mystery box. Now my problem with this is I don't necessarily recognise it from any map. I do remember there being a graveyard in the western map. I don't even remember what that map was called. Or perhaps there's another graveyard in another map that I'm just not remembering. But considering there are zombies here in the blackout mode, maybe there's some relevance of the graveyard that I'm just completely missing. The final location actually took me a while to spot as it's a lot less obvious than many of the other locations and the only reason I actually did find it was because the mystery box spawned here and I went to have a look. This gym in an unsuspecting corner of the world is actually taken directly from Shadows of Evil. This was the first map in Black Ops 3 and it was actually a surprisingly interesting map with some new ideas including weird giant aliens and stuff. Now in Blackout, this is actually one of my favourite locations to come. Not only because there are zombies here and the mystery box is always really useful, but because this area of the map tends to kind of be a bit quiet and the gym gives you really good lines of sight, really good protection and it's actually just one of my favourite places to come. So this is one I definitely recommend coming and checking out, even if you're not even doing it for the zombie stuff, it's just a good location all round. So then guys, there we have it. They were, I don't know, how many? Six zombies locations in Call of Duty Black Ops 4's blackout mode. So I hope you enjoyed that video guys. If you did, please be sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe. I've been the Royal Gorilla. Over.
and out. His name is Luke and he's more than your average gamer. No ordinary let's player. No bad Easter eggs much better. Da 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 da. His name is Luke, aka the Roy Gorilla. Even bigger than the giant Godzilla. Follow him in every game he goes. Da da da.